talking about my master's project that was developing in Brazilian space research institute. And it was a development model of a nice green mover plant cluster. Uh, first, uh, the contents, I will give you a brief uh, introduction to user achieving, understanding our motivation and work with this. Uh, our, our objectives, um, methodologies uh, that we adopted, and finally some results and conclusions. Well, uh, monopropylene propulsion systems, uh, they are applied to attitude control uh, mainly and uh, art correction, you already know that, and it's because of uh, the advantage of being simpler and low costers, but also they have a, a lower specific impulse compared with built up ones. Um, well, hydrogen peroxide using as uh, monopropylene uh, has been studied extremely since uh, 1960 years. And as you can see in this uh, topics, they were applied to different programs, aircraft acts, and uh, different applications also. Um, but unfortunately, with the development of the uh, Shell 405 catalyst, it was replaced by Idrisina. Um, the Idrisina, um, as monopropylene, has been uh, used in most part of the satellites and currently in orbit around the Earth today. But it's um, an extremely expensive, uh, toxic, and also an mutagenic agent. Uh, CR techniques seems like astronauts to manage it with it. So uh, after some years, uh, with uh, environmental uh, concern and to be easier to manage with monopropylene, uh, our agents have been looking for monopropylene uh, clean, um, easier, and uh, more cheaper. Uh, cheaper so. Well, um, catalysts usually apply to uh, hydrogen peroxide. Uh, we have um, mostly divided into two options that's uh, supported and not supported. Um, the traditional one is uh, the use of silver in um, screens or in rural uh, type. And, uh, but uh, the use of silver as catalysts is complicated because they have a, um, a melting point uh, temperature very close of the decomposition temperature of the reaction. So you cannot use a, a hydrogen peroxide too much concentrate um, because it will melt your catalyst. And other options are the catalyst supported in aluminum mainly. Uh, the the uh, magazine dioxide is the one that has been studied more than ever others. And uh, but all of them has their problems like um, they uh, can uh, oxidate uh, by the reaction and uh, lost their activity or like um, the uh, magnesium oxide that reduce and also lost their activity and there is an absorption of some species that is used to stabilize hydrogen peroxide that can uh, kill the catalyst. Um, so all these things. And uh, we thought, what else could we do? You know, we was trying to to uh, find a way to uh, build a monopropylene that worked well, but the one of the keys <coughs> of this is a good catalyst. So we decided to develop a new one. And uh, for that, we were searching chemical papers and everything, and we discovered that uh, cobalt and manganese mixed oxides, it's very common to be used in a uh, redox reaction. But hey, um, the composition of hydrogen peroxide is a reduction in reaction, so it fitted perfectly, and we decided to uh, make this and test. 
Um, so our main um, objective was develop a safe, efficient, and nice system using hydrogen peroxide as an element to apply in a suit control and replace the expensive and toxic hydrazine. And for that we had to find a way to concentrate hydrogen peroxide in Brazil, uh, do chemical stuff, uh, design a thruster, build a test bench, uh, evaluate the results, and conclude that we are now still in space and we not just football. <laughs> So, um, since in Brazil we don't have uh, hydrogen peroxide um, concentrating more than 6% to, uh, to, to buy, we had to make made our own uh, propylene. Uh, and for that we had to buy this machine from France that uses a process of evaporation with uh, iron contour flow to concentrate hydrogen peroxide. And it worked very well. <laughs> then we made the catalyst uh, uh, as this program and co works described it in a chemical paper. Uh, and another idea that we added to this was uh, besides we use uh, just cobalt and, mag and manganese, manganese, manganese was use uh, also aluminum, silver and magnesium to try to improve a property of the material like uh, porosity or mechanical strength. Uh, yeah. And uh, for uh, evaluate uh, the catalyst, we design a, a tracer of two newtons uh, of um, pressure chamber of five, five, uh, five bar and we consider the expansion rate of 1.45 that was to be at the same of our altitude in where the test was beaten. So this was <coughs> the performance of uh, the art the a performance of the <laughs> Tracer was calculated with a CNATO code. This is our test bonds. Uh, it's in Portuguese, but everyone does speak Portuguese, right? It's a common language. <laughs> Sorry, I'll translate next time. But uh, it was composed by a um, tank of uh, hydrogen crystalline, uh, electro, um, electro pneumatic valve uh, to open and close the system. Uh, load cell to measure the uh, thrust, uh, thermal collision, uh, transducers to measure temperature and uh, pressure inside the, the thrust. Uh, these are the uh, first uh, results that we had with the four compounds that we made. Uh, first one with uh, magnesium, we we um, had a good result, but uh, we've not, uh, it was unstable because it, this compound had a better porosity and it uh, turned to uh, the pressure inside these pearls, break the catalyst, and because of it, we have this in this system. Uh, with uh, <coughs> the second one there, with uh, silver, uh, we think that it could be uh, resulting in a stable, very stable compound uh, at the temperature that it was treated to be made. So it was not a good result. But these two other ones, it was uh, fine for us. The result, we got two newtons, but the second one was better because of the configuration of the compound that was um, obtained in the uh, end of the synthesis of the compound. You know. It's chemical stuff. <laughs> and uh, we run more tests with this catalyst and there's some results. And with these uh, results, we calculate the experimental performance of the catalyst. And as we can see, it was considered good because uh, 
then specific impulse was caused after the theoretical result, but after I've seen the process, we have many losses, so it's okay. But um, the efficiency of the velocity characters, the uh, 85%, showed that uh, the, the composition was not uh, complete, almost, but not complete yet. So it's something that we still need to work on. And also the efficiency of the temperature, 73, to show this, uh, it was another, uh, another parameter that uh, showed that the, the composition was not uh, complete. Too. So we, but uh, still we run a longer test of 30 <coughs> seconds and to check if it will be uh, stable. And, uh, we also run a preset test and as we can see, we consider that the stability was good. But of course, uh, tests with less um, time of the pulse has to be made because this one was 5 seconds on, off, on, off. And we know that it has to be less. But anyway, um, the one thing that we consider that was pretty good is because we worked with hydrogen peroxide stabilized, stabilized, and we didn't um, saw any kind of uh, influence uh, of the uh, absor absorption of these stabilizers in the catalyst that would uh, decrease the activity of the reaction. And for that, we think that's a bit of a because <laughs> it's this compound now is in the process of patent and uh, it worked pretty well for now. But of course, uh, we need to improve some properties like uh, the surface area that is still not that good and uh, run more tests and everything. But about to do. And thank you, all of you. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? Go ahead, don't be shy. Okay, go. I just want to um, you maybe you can turn back on the presentation and then maybe go go to the slides with the uh, table of the I where the ISP is mentioned. Yeah, specific inputs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if, yeah, for example with this one. Um, can you compare the, the ISP to, to what you get if you're taking uh, uh, hydrogen uh, on the one side and uh, mm -hmm. just on the other side just cold gas? Ah, uh, cold gas, I don't know, but it does mean... Well, to compare monomer planes, we used to compare by uh, the parameter uh, that's the product of uh, density and specific impulse. Yeah. And for that, the uh, hydrogen peroxide is So you say uh, this is better than hydrogen? I, I'm not saying that it's different, <laughs> you know, it's something that... No, hydrogen has big, bigger pulse species, but uh, there's, um, it's expensive, it's uh, difficult to manage, there's, you know, and if you are comparing this, um, this of course, there's now will be better your specific, but we could uh, make hydrogen first time work pretty well with this catalyst and um, this uh, I didn't check it with out with the impulse specific that we reached with the density that we the hydrogen first time that we were using if it was bigger or not uh, than the hydrogen uh, in other works, but it's a good idea, then I can say that if it's better or not. <laughs> yeah, no, if, I mean like it's just like if you want to make an assessment what you what you should use on your mission, like the simplest way is to just use cold gas, <coughs> a little bit more complicated but not that complicated is this kind of stuff or like 
really complicated and it's like hydrogen. So like if you make a comparison then it's like easier to to to, to choose one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, you also had a question? Um, <coughs> yes. How much does the catalyst affect the ASP? Uh, does it affect it at all? They, are they um, impulse specific? What? Yes, they are specific impulse. How much a catalyst? Yeah, with, with different catalysts, but we showed some examples of it. Uh, yes, I think that the key, you know, to make your system work pretty well is having a good catalyst. In catalyst, I always have a problem, or like I showed in the other ones, and it always influences the mm -hmm. final performance of your system and because uh, the you know the reaction depends of of it. Um, and, and it was a, a cold uh, sorry, sorry cold uh, starts. You know, we didn't hit anything. So you, you feed your uh, hydrogen, uh, hydrogen peroxide with uh, one bar or mm -hmm. to this. So I fill uh, the chamber with the catalyst and uh, the saline that we went for injection that flow hydrogen peroxide to it. And that's it. Okay. They start and, and the and the, the, the like tank is uh, pressurized. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How much bar does it have normally? Um, seven bar, but if we okay. use five bar in the chamber, it's was mm -hmm. small. Okay. So if you have, if you're going to like higher pressure values, then probably also your ISP will improve. Yes, probably. Or pressure more. Or temperature, more interest here, and everything. Okay, any other questions? Something Do you know I how much ISP your cold gas system has or will have? Oh. 60 Okay. Yeah, not so much. Yeah, we have a hydrogen and nitrogen. And the cold gas system, it's about 60 cent. Okay. Well, let's consider very well. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. But this is only for attitude yeah. control, right? Because like if you want to have like some orbit control or deorbiting de de system, probably you need a lot more thrust. And like on, on a normal satellite you have this orbit control system which is using uh, a, a hydrogen and some oxida, oxider. So you have the hydrogen anyway and you use it for, for, for a, a orbit, uh, attitude control as a, as a, uh, as a monopropellant. So, uh, can you use your uh, hydrogen, uh, your uh, uh, hydrogen, hydrogen peroxide, in, in, together with a, uh, with a with a fuel, with another fuel yes, for like do do orbit it control? Uh, there's a colleague that is developing okay. a hybrid for for um, rowing as well as two hundred meters. Uh, can you see any limitations to scale up this thing for bigger engines? Um, good question. Or can you say is it that you can? I think speed? that yes. uh, the process to you know to make the catalyst is pretty big. You know, we have to filter it, wash it, dry it, press it, blah 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 blah. So you can do it fast, but. A lot of work, so maybe it's something that. Uh, but why do you want to scale it up? I mean, two Newton is already like pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> why not scale it up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you just scale yeah. it up, then you can just use a hybrid engine or something. It's just like. You probably won't do that with one in the seconds. <laughs> Any other questions? Um, you um, did testing for five seconds. What is your minimum reaction time? So, what is the minimum time you can get out? Uh, you mean the time to get? Yeah. Uh, it was uh, four hundred milliseconds. It's a uh, big time. Yeah. I know, but there's you know our line of uh, test bench was not that good because we have this. Uh, 
gilded space, you know, here and through the thruster. So I take time to, and it comes to fit. So I think that if we uh, manage to have a thin space, which a little smaller, we will have a better time. Um, did you also test in, um, yeah, in a combustion and a combustion chamber and without a pressure? Uh, without pressure, so in an X space environment? No, no, no. no. We, uh, we don't have inverse yeah, 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 yeah. for, for hydrogen first, I just for hydrogen mm -hmm. align with no pressures. Also, how is your. Because basically, what I get in the, 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 the innovation, or, uh, innovation in that project is like the new catalyzer, right? Yes. So, how is it co uh, uh, performing compared with uh, uh, conventional uh, um, How are you comparing to the others? Yeah. So we run some tests with uh, the other ones in the same thruster and compare it just to the Basically the same. The same thruster. With yeah, but how is the how is the uh, the performance in comparison with the other? Oh, uh, uh, for example, with um, uh, with mag uh, magnets oxygen, we we filled it with it, we made it fill it with it, and it didn't reach uh, two newtons, just one. Okay. And uh, yeah. half of the hydrogen was like that. Just pull out mm -hmm. the thing. So the the composition was reaction was not mm -hmm. complete too, but less than this one. Mm -hmm. um, is there any point where the catalyst catalyst, catalyst dies? Because most catalysts sometimes the burning mm -hmm. the body is destroyed. Yes, I think that we will have a point that it will die, of course, but <laughs> We didn't uh, know yet, you know, there's a student that's uh, uh, is, is still studying it. Uh, I, I finished my master's and he is continuing to work with this catalyst and trying to improve these properties and check how long it can work. Uh, are there any out the shelf? Uh, thrusters that well, use hydrogen peroxide and did you compare like the performance between the two? Off the shelf, so available uh, to buy. But uh, shelf is for hydrogen. No, like uh, it's an expression where you can, well, just uh, for example, Siri uh, space systems, uh, maybe they have mon monopropellant thrusters. Mm -hmm. uh, like, did you compare like your design with theirs mm -hmm. uh, and the performance of it? I didn't. Okay. Well, that's because everybody should be better. It's yeah. all better to yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do something different. So you build the thruster too? Yes, everything. I'm, I'm in a bachelor in chemistry and I try to apply my chemistry knowledge in chemical division. Okay. So probably there's like a lot of space for optimization. <laughs> I was sorry. <laughs> I mean, like, probably now there's like a very big margin still for optimization of the design and then you can get a lot better results in the future. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Actually, I didn't emphasize size of optimization of the system in general. Just to fill with the necessary quantity of the catalyst, not more, not less. So, you know, and whole optimization just for the chain. Okay, so if there is no question left. Um, thank you very much.